Hello everybody, my name is Jad, we'll go to another MLB 9 Innings 22 video, and in today's video, we've got the blue-green tickets, finally we've got packs, we've got other skill change tickets, we've got to talk about the future of our team, I really want to quick check out how many black diamond pieces I have real quick, I'm actually not sure, all of a sudden, 64, so... Let us begin first and foremost by doing the daily pack. As always, we always like to start with getting our disappointment out of the way early. So let's go do a daily pack. So my plan is is I'm going to use my blues on Tanaka first, and then I'm going to use my greens on Hap. And then if I have any blues left over from Tanaka, we'll use them on Hap. I'm going to do my next black diamond is going to be Gary, because I really needed the offense, and I really want another target for my skill changes. I'm going to use my premiums on Granderson. I've got a couple of those. I've got a couple of those from League. And, um, yeah, that's probably my way I'm going to go. I think that's the way we're going to do it. So, hopefully, uh, we can get ourselves uh, a couple extra Black Diamond pieces here this week. I mean, we'll see how it works out or not. I mean, it's, it's not up to me, really. It's whatever the game wants to give me, I guess. That's the, usually the way it goes. All right, we'll just release those guys. If you notice the diamonds, I've kind of stopped resetting League now. And I've just sort of, like, started to just whatever it gives me, I take it. Kind of like that. Um, some people might, might actually also be like, don't release those players. They're useful, but I don't really care. I know I scream about how I don't get Legends, but I feel like I'm not going to get a Legend from them anyway. But that's besides the point. Let's do a couple combos to free up some roster space real quick. Give me a diamond out of the gate. We're no longer doing top middle. We're doing bottom middle now because, um, yep, okay, cool. We're off to a flying start. It would have given me it. Bruh. So mad. That's a good shuffle. For some reason, the, the new card art they just came out with makes them look like they all have beards. Wow. Awesome. Good job. All right. So, um... Yeah, got a lot of packs to go through today, so we're going to go through the silvers first and see if we can get some roster space here, but um, thank you so much. I wish you people would just not message me in the middle of the video. Can't you people see I'm recording here? Come on. Come on. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to like mute all my notifications before I start recording. Everyone wants to be in the video. Everyone wants to be in the video, I swear. Everyone wants to be a part of it. Everyone wants to be in the video. All right, let's keep on going. <laughs> Should I try to go for top middle now? I guess I may have to try, right? No, are you kidding me? It's, oh my god, uh, that's so funny. That's really funny game. Oh my god. That's why you don't switch. Okay, we're just going to stick bottom middle. I don't care. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered that time. But the rest of the times, oh my lord, it mattered. And I'm kind of sad about that. I missed three diamonds already. <laughs> I missed three diamonds already. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I kind of wanted the Hura. He had pretty crazy good power on there. Nice, nice, nice. Actually got a diamond for once. Actually got the diamond. As opposed to like all the other five times that I just choked. Lucas Litge. Lucas Litke has a SIG year. That's actually a SIG year now. Um, had a great year. Started off a little rocky. Finished strong. I missed it again. SIG game. Hello? I pressed like the inventory button like five seconds ago and it just kind of was like, nope. No, thank you. Nope. <laughs> it just said, uh-uh, not today. All right, we're probably going to open the diamond packs up, too, right now. Because I kind of need some diamonds for some combos real quick. I did not do that, though. I said I was, and then I just said, nope, I have other plans. I'm going to press the keep using button. <laughs> All right, we'll do one combo. We'll open up some diamond packs. That's not the right menu. Uh, suddenly, my phone is dragging. Nope, that's also still not the correct button. <laughs> I keep going in the wrong places. Let's come away from silvers. Give me the diamond out of the silver. No. If it gave me the diamond out of the silver combo, then we're good. Trout. Nope. Kevin Pillar. I still don't have enough space. Um, let's go do another combo. 
I don't want really, I don't want to use all five individually, so I'm just gonna just be lazy and just do another combo and then just open the diamond packs and then we'll go from there. I can't believe I got seven. So I got seven. I got one from club, one from ranked. One from club, one from ranked. One from and I think like a bunch of them were from league mode, I wanna say. Oh e that one, the Starling Marte one looks really good, but it's just so... The rest of it is so much mediocre that it just kind of hurts. Again, no, not the right menu. Getting trolled here, man. I'm, I forget how to play this game all the time. So, I don't know if anybody else is watching it as intently as I'm watching, but I'm watching the absolute train wreck that is the owners and the players' um, meetings. And I don't know how... Like, me personally, I don't understand... Anybody taking the owner's side in this? Um, it has been clear that the owners have been taking advantage of the players for years at this point. Um, the players are not fighting for themselves to get paid. They're fighting for their friends and other teammates who aren't getting any money to get paid. Okay, so um, anybody who thinks... Like, I've heard people talk about how, oh, the players make too much money. And, you know, that I understand that argument. It makes sense to, when you look at it on the face value and you see, wow, you know... Oh my god, dude. Today is just not a good day. When you look at it on the face value and see, like, Garrett Cole making $35 million, and you look at, like, Max Scherzer making $43 million a year, you, you'd probably be like, oh, wow, they make a lot of money. You know, why are they complaining? But they're not complaining about their salaries. They're complaining about their teammates' salaries that are getting paid $10,000 in the minors and get basically have to sit around for seven years before they even can get a free agent contract. That's what they're fighting for. They're not fighting so that way they can buy a new Ferrari. They're fighting so that way their teammates can get a fair salary. Right now, if you're in the minors, you can barely pay to survive right now in the minors. Like, you have to have a second job. It's it's crazy to me that it's gotten this bad. And as the, as the owner's team's evaluations have increased over time, players' salaries have decreased over time. So, despite the fact that there's now more players making towards the end of the spectrum, which is, like, the crazy high numbers, despite that fact... Players are now making less on average than they were a couple years ago. Contract values have gone down while team evalu team valuations have gone up. It makes no sense to me. So that's why personally for me, I support the players. I want to see them get a fair deal, get them paid what they're worth. And I think that the owners need to give them something here. Like they can't just sit here and pretend they have no money when we have numbers that show that they make money. It's just, it's annoying when they claim they have no money and, Meanwhile, they're just raking in profits every year without even trying. Can I get one more? I can get one more. Nice. All right, so that's my complaint. Uh, the players are fighting for them to get a fair deal. So I fully support the players. I know a lot of people are just like, I don't care. I just want baseball. But I, it's it's important that they get paid what they want. And I think the owners need to realize that they're not just going to roll over for them. So, we'll see what happens over the next couple days. I think we're basically, today is the deadline. If they don't get it done, we're missing games, they said. They're a self-imposed deadline, you know. Nice. Jonathan Davis, I think? Right. That's like the guy we got from the, the Guardians, I think. No, that's not who I wanted. That's Yeah, Jonathan Davis. That's the guy we got from, I think it was the Guardians. But we'll see what happens with their, uh, their their labor talks. I mean, I'm totally behind them at this point. If they if they miss games to get a good deal, I I don't blame them. I really don't. I they think that getting a fair deal after everything they've been through over the last couple of years, I think it's totally okay. Give me that Joe. I have that Joe as a normal because uh, it was in my tank team, and I really want him. No, I got the the Ali Perez. That's okay though. We'll take the diamond. I'll take the diamond as opposed to the not diamond. Thank you very much, game. And a silver. Who would we get? Oh, that's a good shuffle. Uh, that Hunter Redfro is pretty nasty. Watch me pull a gold out of this. Nice. Hunter Renfro. I was saying nice early because I'm like, yep, <laughs> it's a gold. Uh, 
I love it when I get a gold back. Thank you so much. Okay, let's keep going with this. I got more premium packs than I remember getting. I don't. I guess I got these from the package deals because I don't remember getting this many premium packs during my league modes. So it must have been from the package. I think they must have given me like 10 premium packs per. Definitely feels that way. Okay, goodbye, Renfro. See you later. He was in my lineup for almost five minutes. Nope. Not even a minute. Not even like a couple minutes. Ah, Yankee legend Andrew Heaney. Like, we still have more. We have three more premiums, and then we have, like, ten team selects. And then we still got to go through all the other stuff, too. We, we still got to do regular SCTs, and then we still got blues and greens. I still don't know when I'm going to use my GI ticket. I don't know yet. So, like, the problem is, is that I want to work on him when everybody has black diamond skills, and I have no one else to work on. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll use a couple... Premium skill changes on him and just see what I get. You know what I mean? Like, he would probably get my free ones. But right now, I have a I have Grandison with no legend skill. So I kind of really want to use the, the the premium skill changes on him. Because he's not going anywhere in my lineup. And I kind of want to get something like Bad Ball Hitter Pioneer on him as well. So that's, that's why I'm kind of holding off on him right now. Chris Gittens. Oh, he has a picture finally. I, I think that was a couple updates ago. But um, he is uh, not going to be around for much longer. Johnny Lasagna, because he's playing in Japan now. We've talked about that in the past videos as well. He is no longer around. So, I mean, like, I, I understand that some people just be like, just play baseball. But, I mean, me personally, it makes a lot of sense. I think the players need to need to stand together and they need to stand up for their teammates who are getting an unfair deal uh, because roster manipulation is rampant. Roster manipulation, service time manipulation, uh, they're not getting paid any money basically until they finish. Like, like We have people on our team who are still in arbitration who are almost 30 years old. And that's, that's absurd. I mean, they should have been up a long time ago. But anyway... That's my soapbox. I mean, obviously, some people may disagree. I mean, I don't really understand people defending billionaires. I mean, look, let's be honest. What's the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire? It's about a billion dollars. So there you go. A lot of people take the owner's side because they're like, I'm never going to make that much money. If I made that much money, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. You know, I'd, I'd play for free. No, you wouldn't because then you wouldn't be able to support yourself. That's not a, not a valid argument. That's neat. Sorry. Ugh. Sorry, I'm allergic to bad arguments. Um, but that's no, just me. Like, I, I personally don't understand that that argument. I mean, it's just that, like, they're the top 1,200 people in the world at what they do. They should be paid to reflect those skills. Instead, they're getting paid less every year. So, while yes, the very top end, the top like 20 to 30 players are getting paid incredible salaries. I mean, Matt Ryan's going to get paid $48 million next year. Uh, that's a diamond. Nice. Thank you very much. Matt Ryan's going to get paid $48 million next year. Um, James Harden's going to get paid $60 million next year. Like, why can't our baseball players make that much money? Especially in a non-capped sport. They're playing at a capped sport. We don't have a salary cap, and they're still not making that much money. It's just crazy to me. They should make what they're worth. They're worth more than what they're paid now. End of story. When these owners are running multi-billion dollar organizations, and they can't spend $200 million on payroll. The number of teams that try to compete now is is laughable. Coming into the season, before the before the Guardians picked up Jose Ramirez's option, they literally had a $2 million payroll. Like, what is that? Did I just get rid of a diamond and just not get a diamond back from it? That's crazy. It's just, it's hard for me to believe that so many teams just don't try to compete, and honestly, it should. I think there should be a salary floor. The owners will never, ever agree to a salary floor. I think that there should never be a salary cap, and the players will never, ever, ever accept the salary cap. It's just it's what it is. The players won't want a sal the players don't want a salary cap because they want to get paid as much as they're worth, which a capped sport does not allow, and the owners want to spend as little as possible, which a floor a sport doesn't allow. Give me gold. Perfect. Now I can just get everybody off the lineup. Last combo. Anyway, I've I've turned these videos into just me ranting about baseball. I really just want baseball back, but at the same time I understand the players want to fight for this and I I, I think that they have 
the right to fight for this, and I think they should fight for this. And I will, I will, I will sit here and I will, I will take it if that means they're going to get paid a fair salary. I will take it. Um, so let's go do our normal skill changes. Well, first I want to use my premiums on Granderson. I want to see if we can get anything on Granderson with three skill change tickets. Uh, I got two from, I, I want to say I got two from League this week, but I don't, I don't know if that's, I think I might have gotten one from some kind of like, um, event. I don't know. How do I, how do I do this? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, okay. This the new system is so weird. I I kind of like the fact that they made the buttons uh they made it less cluttered. Unfortunately, it looks like they designed it to run on my grandmother's jitterbug phone because, you know, she can't see the buttons with her her lack of eyesight nowadays. It kind of feels like I'm blind. They made it a little less congested, but they made it like a lot more confusing and unnecessary in my opinion. Come on, blind diamond skill, legend skill. Not anything. Come on, balls. Come on, last last ticket, please, baby. Come on, no, man. Didn't even get anything really that good and got charisma. No, trying to do the thing here. Uh huh. Come on, loading. The, the spring camp boxes are going to be a lot better coming down the line. It's going to be a couple weeks until we get the good stuff from them, but I think they have, like, a free blue and a green ticket in them. That's going to be pretty cool, too. Uh, excited to see that stuff. So hopefully uh, we get it, and we don't have to wait, like, three years for it. I feel like it's going to be about a month to wait, though. Unfortunately. That's just the way it happens, right? I mean, it's just... Whatever. I'm very patient with my things. Uh, I have a lot of patience. That's why I can kind of hold off with my um, my cards until, like, the next week. Uh, so one, two, three. Uh, okay. I thought I, I thought I unlocked more than that. I thought I unlocked, like, two people. I, I did not unlock more than two people. So let's combine these dudes away. Legend, 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 legend. No! No, come on, man. Dude. It's been so long since we've seen a legend. I am not stooping to buying the ultimate legend packs. I don't care. Or the ultimate vintages. I'm not doing it. I'm not stooping to that level right now. Sorry. It's not happening yet. I'm not that desperate for a legend yet. I just want one for the sake of for the sake of having one. I just want one. Okay, it's a normal anyway. I was like, I know I forgot something. All right, let's go do... We got three skill changes. We're going to throw them at Stan. Funny enough, Stan's actually been pretty solid for me this week. So, uh, it's actually been pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't mind if he stayed the way he is right now. I just have... Uh, I don't know. I, just, I want to just try for the nuts on him. We'll see. He doesn't really need that much help, but it's definitely going to come important later on down the line. Hopefully, we get something... This week, ooh, that looked good. Unfortunately, BIU, like actual BIU for him is just not a thing. His speed is just, he's hes in a wheelchair, man. He's 59 speed. He needs to use a walker to get to first base. Like his his hurricane can only go so fast. Nice, triple bronzes. Almost triple three bronzes. Come on, baby. If I don't hit anything on Stan, I think next week what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trying to throw skill changes at, like, Britain and Miller. Ooh, that looked good. Charisma barrel it up, but I need a third. He's not really much. I don't. I do not need flashing the leather. But uh, Britain's been really kind of mediocre in the setup spot. I mean, I say mediocre. Oh, that looked good. That looked good. That looked good to start with. And then it was all downhill from there. Britain and Miller have been kind of mediocre. I really kind of want to get some, like, better skills on them. But I don't know how much better I can even make it, really. It's like... They don't blow that many skills, but... Oh, that looked good again, but just... I just can't... Uh, no ace killer. Um, Batansis maybe might need some help, too. I mean, just getting away from winning streak would probably be in my best interest. Triple three is nice. But getting away from winning streak would probably be in my best interest for Batansis because that would mean that if I could just get my triple golds, um, the odds are, man, it was so good. Just getting away from that nerf would probably be ideal. Really wants me to have MBT for some reason. It says yes. 
Triple Silvers, and over yet, Fred, MBT. Man, that looks so good. But if it was just anything other than MBT, I'd might I might consider it. It's not worth a blue. Voice crack. Sick voice crack. It's just not worth a blue for me. It's just not worth the blue. Unless it's like a legend skill set, not worth the blues for me anymore. Okay, last one. That's my first time I've seen Spotlight. Table setter. Oh, come on. If it was anything other than a specialist, I'd consider it. Man, just mm, kind of weak. Uh, but table set is a good skill. In and over yet. Like, it's just like two threes. It's like two threes and I got no one. Just, ah. No, oh, lock him. Lock him down. Okay. So let's go do our blues and greens. First thing first, let's go to Tanaka. Uh, I believe he's, yeah, he's in the lineup. Okay. We want to change winning streak. Winning streak is an important thing. Like, I like having winning streak, but the problem is, is whenever I get into a, a game where I'm not winning, he just gets absolutely dumpstered. So I really kind of want to hope for, like, Finesse or Dom. Uh, more or less Finesse than Dom because he's already Finesse trained. But, um, here I'll tell you what. We're going to do our greens on Hap first because uh, because we need to get him closer. Uh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, use our, we'll use our greens on Hap as a warm-up. We'll, we'll warm up for the ultimate, um, the climactic event of using the blues on, on him. Uh, I got that feeling in the pit of my stomach of nervousness because uh, I hate using these skills because I'm so nervous. It's like when I used to use team selects, I'd be so nervous. Pitching machine's okay. Pitching machine's an okay, but I, I want to go better than that. Stab is also a good one, but I'd prefer to see like a one. Again, not not a, not a, Will is not a great gold for this situation here. Again, mm, my God, dude, like decent things, but just nothing, nothing fun here. Kind of want to just get a, a good uh, a good gold here, please. Give me like a good gold. Like there's there's several of them, or or don't. That's cool too. Okay, I could run with that. I could run with that. I don't, I mean, even if I don't get a blue on him, that's really good. That's really good. All right, so I'll save that green for later. Finesse is fantastic. I got to retrain him. Um, and then we'll run the blues on Tanaka. I mean, that's like, okay. That's, that's actually very helpful. I, I kind of like that a lot, so. We will see. So even, even if I don't get it, use a blue on, on him, everyone is still fine for me. Uh, no, uh, it, that's right. I still have the things here. Okay, so let's go use our blues. Really praying, like I said, for Dom, Finn. Uh, I could do touch. Um, could really do anything. Any any high tier gold would be great on uh, change winning streak. Get gold, 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 gold. Put away pitch. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? Gold, gold, gold. Yes, Dom in the pitcher. Yes. Oh, I mean, it's not Finn. It's not Finn, but it's Dom. I mean, oh, baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, baby. He's done, baby. All right. Wow. What are we doing here? Um, man, I guess I'm going to save the blues for now. I I don't really have anyone to use blues on. Judge, to me, is not worth the blues because of the low number. I don't really have anyone to blue right now. I Do I do I, do I go to Hap and do I use blues on him? I think I go to Hap and I use Blues on him. Let me level up. Let me level him up real quick and let me think about this because I think I think Blues are necessary on him now. God, I have sixty-eight training tickets. I have sixty-eight training tickets on him because of I have so many. Like I buy this package all the time. God, I wish I wish I had something other than co-op on him, but whatever. It's gonna have to do for now. I mean, co-op is not the worst thing. It's basically bullpen day, but slightly better than bullpen day because of the fact that it helps your next pitcher out. It helps your next pitcher, um, like, when he's in the game, it helps him out. I would really like to roll mess instead of winning streak on him, honestly. That would be helpful. I think I'm going to get, like, to four? Is that, Am I getting him to four? No, I get him to three. Yeah, I'd really like... I'd love mess on him, honestly. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll we'll take Finn to eight. Although I don't know, we'll see. It's not ideal. Uh, we'll probably run. We'll probably run blues on him. We'll do that and see if I can get something better than winning streak. I mean, I like winning streak on him, but it's just 
winning streak as a third, it gets nerfed, and on top of that, it only helps in... There's three There's three situations your baseball game happens. You're tied, you're winning, and you're losing. So in only one of the three states, it actually helps you. And in the one state it helps you, it's probably going to get nerfed. So that's that's my logic for not running winning streak here. Okay, power pitcher is not bad, but I, I kind of want to get a gold. Control artist, again, also pretty good. Thin ice, absolutely. You nailed it. Uh, I could probably do pitching machine again. Also a nerf, kind of, kind of a nerf, but also better than winning streak because it's always active. Um, I'll probably be, I'll probably be good with that. I'll be good with that. So that's probably going to be it for me for today, you guys. Let me just double check everything and let me make sure I've got nothing left and. Um, this, this video is going to go up a little late. I apologize. Uh, I don't know how late, but um, it'll definitely be up at some point during the night. Um, because I, I, it's like 3 o'clock now. I just got home from class. And on top of that, I'm just kind of like scrambling for time here. My new phone requires me to render it in a different way. I need to like resize the screen uh, because my phone is in a different aspect ratio. And it's kind of got like a little black bar off on the right side. So I need to like do things differently. So it's just a little bit of a mess. Anyway, with that being said, you guys, do I have a premium skill change ticket? Yeah, okay. No. I have to reset my premium skill change ticket timer this week, so I'm going to do it after uh, I get off, basically. Um, because it was getting to the point where I would like wake up on Monday morning and then craft it, and I was like, I was like this is not working. So I'm resetting my timer for my, you know, my premium skill change ticket. So I'll get three skill changes, and then I'll do that. Anyway, with that being said, you guys, have a good day. Be safe out there. Take it easy. Good luck with your pulls. Let me collect this real quickly, and then I'm going to get this video up ASAP. All right, and I will see you guys later. Good luck with your blues and greens. Peace.